Hello and happy Saturday and happy Easter Eve to everyone. We are going to do some dinner prep. Let me share to my groups. While you're hopping on, be sharing with everyone what you are having for dinner tonight. And also go ahead and share what you guys will be having for Easter, whether it's Easter dinner, lunch, whatever that will be tomorrow. So let me just share in a few of these groups real quick. I hope everyone has had a great day. It has been beautiful, beautiful, beautiful here. Okay, I feel like I have shared where I need to share. We might share in a few others, so give me just one more second. We are going to be having steaks and some roasted vegetables for dinner tonight at my house. Okay, I think I've shared everywhere. Welcome guys, hey Patty, hey Amy. Taco ring, oh, that's a good one. Patty, are you doing it Facebook Live or did you and I missed it? Okay, so Chris and I are gonna tag team tonight. I am going to get the veggies ready and he will handle the grill because we are having some steaks. Let me show you, I've got them sitting out. We always like to let our steaks get closer to room temperature before we put them on the green egg. So we've got um, some ribeyes, bone-in ribeyes, and then some fillets. Uh, not sure who's gonna eat what. We may all have some of each kind, doesn't really matter. Um, but I do like to take them out and let, while the grill is heating up, or the green egg's heating up, I like to season these and let them already start kind of coming um, closer to room temperature when they go on the grill. I haven't done it yet. Oh, okay. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Erica. Hey, guys. If you're just hopping on, we're going to get dinner ready. And tonight, Chris and I are tag teaming. He's going to grill the steaks, and I'm going to do the veggies. Um, in case y'all, let me give a little plug to Texas Roadhouse. We, this is our second time doing this, but they are, the Texas Roadhouse in Pelham is doing grill to order, uh, or ready to grill steaks. So we picked these up yesterday and um, I think it was maybe a week and a half ago or two weeks ago, we picked up some filets. So it's basically just like going to the meat market or the meat department in a grocery store. Hey mom and all your buddies, if they're still at your place eating. Hey Jackie. So yesterday Chris went and got this and it was the ribeyes and the filets, some baked potatoes, which the boys will eat um, and some rolls. So anyway, Chris will put these on the grill in just a minute. They are seasoned with this Himalayan um, pink salt, black pepper, and garlic seasoning. This happens to be my favorite keto-friendly seasoning that I use. But you guys are gonna join me in getting, hey, Donette, you guys are gonna join me in getting the veggies ready. So the boys are gonna have baked potato and then they will have some of the Brussels sprouts. They're not crazy about um, asparagus, so they probably won't have that, but the boys will have baked potato and Brussels sprouts. Chris and I will have the asparagus wrapped in bacon that I'm gonna fix and Brussels sprouts. Both of these I'm gonna roast in the air fryer. Um, so I thought I'd bring you on to see how easy this is to prep. Hey Debbie, when you guys are hopping on, be sure and comment um, what you are having for dinner tonight at your house. So I'm actually gonna start with getting the Brussels sprouts ready because what I like to do, I am going to roast them but I'm also going to microwave them in my micro cooker for just probably about four or five minutes because I do want them to be a little bit cooked before I start roasting them. And the only reason I do that is to kind of save on some time. So all I am doing, I'm using one of our flexible cutting mats and the five inch Santuco knife, which is my favorite, it's my go-to. Hey, Miss Gail, how are you? I miss you and all the other Columbiana crew. Um, all I'm doing is cutting off the very end and I had rinsed these Brussels sprouts using one of our strainers, rinsed them and let them just kind of 
dry a little bit, but cut it off the ends and then I am cutting them in half. And again, that is just so that they will roast a little easier, be a little even. And then I'm just tossing them into the micro cooker. So be sure and share what you guys are having for dinner. Hey, Mackenzie, did you go and get your ham for tomorrow? Tomorrow, since it is Easter, we are still going to have our traditional Easter lunch. We just won't be getting to go to Mass beforehand. We will watch um, Easter Mass on TV or online. But we are going to have ham. Um, I'm going to do roasted broccoli, some steamed green beans, and the boys will have mac and cheese. So... We will have that tomorrow. Hey D, hey Ginger. If you guys are just hopping on, we're getting dinner started and Chris and I are gonna tag team. He is um, getting the green egg heated up for the steaks and I am going to prep all the vegetables for us. We are doing roasted Brussels sprouts and then asparagus wrapped in bacon and we're gonna do it in the air fryer. Hey Elise. Feel free to share this video. If you have any friends that are looking for simple dinner ideas, I mean, grilling, pretty much anybody can do grilling, um, but sometimes people have a harder time knowing what to do besides just baked potato. So for us, we're having roasted Brussels sprouts. I actually am also going to add um, some zucchini to the Brussels sprouts to roast, but Right now what I'm doing, I'm just prepping the Brussels sprouts, putting them in the micro cooker because I'm going to microwave them for a few minutes while I get the asparagus ready. So I'm just cutting the ends off and then cutting the Brussels sprouts in half. I may not do all of these because this is a very large amount of Brussels sprouts. I think I'm gonna just do a couple more and then I'll save those few and I can always roast those this week for lunch. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna save the rest of those because that was quite a bit of Brussels sprouts. Okay, so I just have the Brussels sprouts in the micro cooker. I'm not going to put anything else in here with it. I'm just gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for, I'll probably do four or five minutes just to let them start softening. Hey June. I haven't talked to you guys in forever, June. I hope all of y'all are doing well. Tell Tracy and um, the rest of the crew I said hello. So I'm gonna pop these in the microwave and we're gonna prep our asparagus real quick. So give me just a minute. And again, the only reason, let me grab my trash can. The only reason I'm doing the Brussels sprouts for a few minutes in the microwave, they take a good while to roast if they are completely raw. So I just, you know, kind of cook them for just a little bit and then we finish them off in the air fryer. If y'all have not seen the flexible cutting mats, these are a must have because really easy to prep anything on and then real easy to get rid of what you don't need or if I need to transfer into something. Okay, let's move on to our asparagus wrapped in bacon. I like to use, um, for those that may or may not be aware, I eat the keto way of life. Would you like to come say hi? Yeah, What's you can come dinner? around. What's for dinner? Yeah. We're having steaks. Okay. Um, Evan, you can lean in. Bedhead, like he doesn't even look like he's been out of the bed. He has, but he doesn't look like it. Anyway, I, um, eat keto so I do look for you know the cleanest of things not necessarily perfect but pretty clean so my bacon that I use the most often is by Hormel and it's just the original uncured bacon and I try to always stay away from any that has um, if it's applewood smoked because that has extra sugar in it so that's just what I personally use there are others that I like, but sometimes it's hard to find a good bacon. Um, Patty, I need to get hooked up with bacon from your husband if you're still on. All right, so with the asparagus, I'm gonna show you a couple ways you could prep it. 
First of all, you don't ever eat the very end. I'm gonna end up cutting most of mine. It's just the quickest for me, but a little trick is if you will bend it in half, where it snaps is the part that you really wanna keep. I tend to not waste that much of it, so that's why I'm going to um, cut mine, but if you hold both sides, bend it wherever it snaps, that's really your best part of the asparagus. All right, but I, because it's quicker for me to do several at a time, so I just cut off kind of the, but you can tell it's the lighter part. It's kind of um, a little bit thicker at the end. So just cut off the ends of your asparagus because otherwise, even when you roast them, it's, um, they're really kind of, I don't know how to describe it. They're just too difficult to chew. It's not the part you want to be eating. Hey Kelly, yes, I need Smithfield, but um, I never can find it. Whenever I am in the store, I never find one that is as keto friendly as I want. So maybe hook me up. Hey Abby. So if you're just hopping on, we are tag teaming with dinner tonight. Chris is going to be cooking our steaks. He's waiting for the green egg to finish heating up. So I am getting our veggies ready to roast. We are having roasted Brussels sprouts and then asparagus wrapped in bacon. So I've just prepped all of our asparagus and let me get my little rack out. So I'm going to do the asparagus on one of the wraps for the air fryer and I'll show you this when I put it in in a minute and then the Brussels sprouts will be on the other rack and we're using the Pampered Chef air fryer. Thank you Patty. Hey Monica. Hey Lauren. So with our air fryer it comes with two of these racks plus a little basket and a rotisserie rod. The air fryer came out March 1st and it has been life-changing in my kitchen for me. One thing that I like to use are these little parchment paper sheets that I just get off Amazon. You do not have to use these sheets. I like using them just because it makes cleanup a little bit easier. Um, it also helps if I'm doing something that would stick to the racks a little more. The parchment paper stops it from sticking, but you don't have to use these. It'll work fine without it. Hey, Amy Bailey. Kelly Crawford. Patty Kelly and I, gosh, it goes way back from when I used to get some kids clothes from her. So way, way back. All right, so what we are going to do, let me continue on so y'all will see. The other thing I'm gonna make for y'all real quick after I get the air fryer going, we, Chris and I like to have blue cheese butter on our steaks. So I'm gonna show you how easy that is to make. Hey, Amber. So I usually take about five pieces of asparagus and one piece of bacon. There is nothing magical about this. And I just start kind of at the top and I literally just wrap the bacon around the asparagus. So, and then I'm just gonna set it on the tray and I'll show you the tray of asparagus once I get it done. And our Brussels sprouts just went off. So in just a second, when I finish the asparagus, I'll go grab those. I hope my husband's paying attention if the grill is getting hot or not. He went downstairs and that could be dangerous because he might forget, but it's okay. We'll holler at him in a minute. How is everyone doing? Hey, Steven. Hey, Sheila. For those that are just hopping on, I'm prepping our vegetables. We're going to have roasted Brussels sprouts with some zucchini and then asparagus wrapped in bacon, which is what I'm doing right now. And we're gonna do it in the air fryer. And then Chris is going to grill our steaks on the green egg. All right, I've got this one and one more. So we will have had, I think it's six. So there'll be three for each of us, which we don't always eat all of them. So if we have any left over, we will just put it in the refrigerator and it can be for tomorrow as well. And obviously you can do however many pieces of asparagus in your little bacon wrap. All right, so here are my asparaguses. I don't know if that's the way I say it, wrapped in bacon. 
Yes, and Kelly, you have done several Pampered Chef parties, but I want to say, didn't we meet first from um, the clothes? Maybe not. I don't know. I'll have to go back and read the comments when we're done. Okay, so let me just put, let me wash my hands from all this bacon and grab our Brussels sprouts. And put the rest of my bacon in this little bag that I have ready. So, super, super easy. Anybody can do asparagus wrapped in bacon. Hey, Susan Powers. Let me wash my hands. And let me grab my salt and my tongs. All right, so here's what we're going to do for the Brussels sprouts. So I did, I think that was five minutes, four minutes, five minutes, I'm not sure. We're going to put these on our second rack in the air fryer, but I'm also going to add some zucchini. Hold on one second. And I need to warm up. I've got to warm up some Southern juice. Um, and the only reason I'm doing zucchini, I have some. We haven't had it in a couple days. I was craving some zucchini, so I'm just gonna add it with the Brussels sprout. So we're gonna use the quick slice and all I'm gonna do, cut the ends off, cut my zucchini in half, in half again, and one more time. The quick slice, if you don't have it, this is a must have. Hey, Rita Payne, hey, Hillary. I'm glad you guys are hopping on. Um, put in the comments what you guys are having for dinner. What, what are you doing on this Easter Eve? Um, or what are you having for Easter as well? So share with everybody both. All right, so we put our zucchini on the quick slice. Give me some hearts to make sure you guys can see me. And then that just sliced our zucchini all in even slices. Put that in there with our Brussels sprouts. You can use this quick slice for so many different things. Bell pepper, cucumber, squash, um, Kiwis, strawberries, bananas, lemons, limes, um, tomatoes of any kind, avocados, hard-boiled eggs. Hey, Jane Key, I think my mom is still watching. All right, so zucchini, Brussels sprouts. Let me grab our southern juice. So I just heated up a little southern juice, also known as bacon grease but this is so, so good to flavor your veggies and keto friendly. Keto version of hamburger steak with mushroom and onion. That sounds delicious. Hey, Rachel. Steaks on the green egg and baked potatoes. Hey, we're Twinkies, Rita. The boys are having baked potato, but Chris is doing the steaks on the green egg, although he hasn't put them on yet. But let me show y'all. These are our steaks that will go on the green egg, some fillets and some bone-in ribeyes, seasoned with some Himalayan sea salt, garlic, and pepper. All right, so I put our southern juice on here. I toss it around. Then I need to add some salt. I will tell you, with Brussels sprouts, you do need to use a good bit of salt. That, to me, makes them taste the best. And I'm also going to put some Himalayan pink salt and garlic and black pepper seasoning. The key to flavorful food is making sure you season it adequately. Just going to say. All right, so I'm actually going to put a little more. Now, the reason I went ahead and put our southern juice on before the seasoning that way my seasoning is sticking to it. Hey, Teresa. Okay, so we've got all of our zucchini mixed in with our Brussels sprout, and all I'm gonna do is put it on the second air fry tray. And it does not matter how messy you put it on here, and you can even have it kind of piled up. That is okay. 
I like to have leftovers, so I definitely make plenty. Oh, except for now I just dropped some on the floor. Don't drop it on the floor, because then that's a waste. And just make sure, you know, you go to the edges. All right, we got a little bit more. I love my chef's tongs, by the way. Use them all the time. Try not to throw stuff off my counter. All right, so here are our Brussels sprouts and zucchini. Now let me show you guys the air fryer. Let me get this in here since I've got two hands. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys around here. Hopefully you will still be able to hear after I turn this around. I've noticed sometimes it messes it up. Yes, Susan, I'm using the Pampered Chef air fryer. Okay, so here's the air fryer. Super simple, simple to use. Here is it inside. So the top rack is my asparagus wrapped in bacon. The bottom rack is the zucchini and Brussels sprouts. I could also, if I wanted to, move this down to the lower rack. I'm not going to because I do want it to roast. Oops, I need it on that one. I want it to roast, um, you know, pretty decent. I want my the asparagus on the top rack to start with will help cook the bacon. However, part way through, the air fryer is going to beep at me to let me know it's halfway through. And what I will do, I will rotate the racks. I will move the asparagus to the bottom and then put the Brussels sprouts at the top. After that, if it's still not done when the timer goes off altogether, I obviously can just restart. This little tray in the bottom is a drip tray. So any juice that comes off of either the asparagus or the Brussels sprouts and zucchini will just go to that drip tray, which makes it really easy to clean. So for this, yes, Mackenzie buddy appreciates it, although he's upstairs right now, so I may pick it up and put it in the garbage. He'll get something while we're eating. We have several settings. You can do some custom settings, but we have air fry, bake, roast, which is what we're going to use, rotisserie so if you wanted to do a rotisserie chicken a pork tenderloin it does come with a rotisserie bar reheat that is phenomenal for the boys to use when they are reheating their pizza i had keto pizza last night for dinner and so we had some left over and if i choose to eat that tomorrow before we have our um our easter lunch slash dinner or if I want it later tomorrow I can use the reheat it is really really good and then dehydrate I have personally not used the dehydrate yet but like you could dehydrate uh, bananas or pineapple slices you could also make your own beef jerky there are is a cooking guide that comes with every air fryer and it has recipes for doing the beef jerky it has recipes for I think there's like 20 recipes in it this rotate button up here that is if you use the basket that comes with it like if you're doing french fries or John Allen will do hot pockets like mini hot pockets in there so you use the rotate all right so what we're going to do and it has presets we're going to do roast but I am actually going to do more than 10 minutes because I know I want my bacon to for sure cook and Brussels sprouts do take a little bit longer in my opinion because I like mine to be a little crisp. Some people might think that's burnt, but I like them crisp. So what you do when it's when you set it, press that button in and now it's going to let me adjust the time. So I'm going to start with 12 minutes and all I do is hit start. And now I don't have to do anything. It's doing its work. Let me turn y'all back around. Hey Taylor, the air fryer is doing its work. Give me a um, thumbs up if y'all can hear me. Number one, over the air fryer. Number two, sometimes when I turn the um, camera and then turn it back, it sounds like it kind of mutes my microphone on my phone. But give me a thumbs up if you can hear me and then I'll keep going because we're gonna make our blue cheese butter. Okay, good. So, um, now I lost my train of thought because squirrel moment. I don't know what we were talking about. Anyway. When it beeps at me six minutes through, I'm gonna rotate those trays. And then if I need to do longer, all I'll do is restart it. There are times um, I will do roast for however long, and sometimes I might finish it off on the bake setting just because it's a higher temperature. Um, and it's just play around with it. What all comes with the air fryer? 
Um, okay, Rita, let me go grab the other things to show you because that is a great um, question. Let me get the cooking guide. So hold on one second. backwards I still haven't learned to mirror um, oh yeah Patty I'm gonna do the blue cheese butter right after this okay so it comes with a cooking guide the cooking guide tells you what all the pieces are tells you how to clean it all of that kind of stuff um, it has tons of great like for frozen foods there's two pages of examples and how to um, what settings to use so like chicken nuggets chicken wings fish fillets fish sticks French fries, whether they're thin cut, thick cut, hot sandwich pockets, meatballs, mini bagel pizzas, mini egg rolls, mozzarella sticks, onion rings, pizza snack rolls, potato tots, which I guess are like tater tots, shrimp. Then there's a roasted vegetable page. Um, now I will say I kind of just use my own judgment because everyone wants their vegetables done differently, but use this as the starting guide. Hey Christy. So use this as your starting guide. Zucchini, sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, green beans. Then there is a page that's chicken, seafood, and fish. So it tells you what to do for that. There's a whole rotisserie, like if you're doing a rotisserie chicken, if you're doing, um, you can do a whole head of cauliflower. I haven't tried that yet, but I need to. You can do little Cornish hens. And then the dehydrate page. So this is an entire page of things that you can dehydrate. Once you get past that, you have several, several recipes. Chicken wings, french fries, coconut shrimp, homemade beef jerky, so if you want to dehydrate your own jerky, homemade chicken tenders, crispy cod, chicken parmesan, which looks really good. I've not tried it. Stromboli, Peruvian chicken, I've heard rave, rave, rave that and not tried it hand pies then online as this product is out longer and longer we're gonna have more and more recipes for um, the air fryer Susan you will love the air fryer it is life-changing I've had mine since the middle of January but it came out March 1st I use it just about every day I really do Okay, here is the basket that comes with it. This is what you're gonna do french fries in. You could do the hot, hot little um, pizza bites that John Allen will do. I have done sweet potato tops in here. You fill it about three-fourths of the way full, and then it fits inside. You won't have the racks in there, but it fits inside. You hit the rotate button, and it'll rotate. Not that fast, but it'll rotate. To get it out, it comes with this little tool that you slide in there to pull out the basket. Let me yell at Chris because he needs to get our steaks on the grill. Hold on one second. Chris, are you going to start the steaks? Chris, are you going to start the steaks? No, but... He was waiting for me to completely finish. That means we're going to have cold veggies and hot steak. Hey, Angela. Um, so anyway, you use this to pull out the basket from the hot air fryer. I also will stand it up with an oven mitt and use the end of this to open up the basket because when the french fries or whatever's I can't do it right now whatever I just cooked in there when this is hot it's hard to kind of open it up so I just use that you know and I'd have an oven mitt on okay so you get that you also get clearly I have not used the rotisserie but here's your rotisserie rod so you put your um, chicken or your pork tenderloin on here I think it'd be neat to try a um, small turkey breast they say up to a five pound chicken you know whatever your head of cauliflower and then it has these little I haven't even taken these out of the package yet but these you kind of spear the meat with and then put it on the same bracket that you put the basket on so all of those pieces come with the air fryer. The little sheets that I, sheets of parchment paper that I was using, I got those off Amazon. Those are not required with using the air fryer. I just personally. 
personally like using them because then it keeps my um, my wraps a little bit easier to clean. Okay, it's beeping at me now, so what I'm going to do is rotate my tray. So pause one moment. I'm also going to heat up my butter for the blue cheese. My favorite accessory that you need if you get the air fryer are Baby Shark little mini oven mitts. Hey, Deborah. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take our asparagus wrapped in bacon and move it to the bottom rack. And I'm gonna move our Brussels sprouts to the top. And we still have, ooh, I just dripped juice all over me. We still have six more minutes to go. Like I said, I may, I never can do this one handed. I may end up doing a little bit extra time. It just depends. I will, and as soon as you close the door, it starts again. I may do extra time. It just depends how it looks when it comes out. All right, let me go check our butter. I just got bacon grease all over me. Okay, this was about a half a stick of Kerrygold butter. Hey, Amy, my neighbor. Um, about half a stick of Kerrygold butter, and then I used some blue cheese crumbles. And all I do, now this is what Chris and I will put on our steak. And I'm, this package was, hmm, not, it wasn't quite, it was a little more than half a package. I'm not sure if I'll need all of it or not, but we're going to start with that. And I literally just mix it up. I will use the rest of the blue cheese. This was a bigger than normal. A lot of times the blue cheese is a um, smaller package. I got this, I think, at Aldi. This one was five ounces. I think usually it's like a three ounce package. And so when it's the three ounce, I do use the whole thing. And by the time the steaks are done, by the time these veggies are done, this will kind of thicken even more. But Chris and I will put this on top of our steak. Sometimes I will also put it on top of my asparagus, wrapped in bacon. But with the keto way of eating, you do use butter and the blue cheese is keto friendly. So this just adds lots of great flavor on top of the already really good steaks. So this is just the blue cheese butter. So there you go. All right, so he put the steaks on the grill. I'll take a picture of dinner when it is done. Our um, veggies have about three more minutes and then I may or may not do a little extra time. I'll take pictures of the veggies once they're done as well. But before I hop off, does anyone have any questions for me? You can always, always um, private message me if you have questions. If you are wanting to add an air fryer to your kitchen because let me tell you it's pretty life-changing by all means let me know hey Lori Bailey by all means let me know you can get it discounted if you want to do a virtual party lots of your friends are cooking at home right now so they are needing some great tools in the kitchen um, I am also doing a Feeding America fundraiser where Pamper Chef is donating they're doubling the donations right now so instead of 15% to the local food bank, they will be doing 30%, and then I am donating my commission from that fundraiser. So if you do have some things you would like to order, private message me and I'll send you the link to my fundraiser. Also, if you would wanna do your own virtual party, send me a private message and I can um, answer any questions and help you get that set up. Can you mail me some steak? Uh, I wish I could and I wish that you were home with us, but I know that the horses need to be fed and you and your roommate are having a blast over there. So this too shall pass and we'll be together soon. So yeah, if I could like teleport some steak to you, I would. It is smelling really good. So are the veggies. They've got two more minutes. So y'all ask me some questions and we'll check on the veggies in two, in two minutes. I have a feeling they're gonna need to go a little bit longer and especially since the steaks are not ready, we'll let them go a little longer. Actually, let's do this. Y'all wanna go out and see the steaks? 
Hey, Jennifer Johnson, give me um, some hearts if you want me to take you out there to see how the steaks are looking on the egg. And I'll take you out there. But if y'all don't give me hearts, I'm not going to go out there. Just kidding. I'll take you if you want. Okay. We at least have one heart. So let's go out and see how the steaks are going. We'll go for a little walk. We're coming to see how the steaks are going. Our, oh, so the ribeyes. I've seared those. Oh, they've only been seared, so they got to go back on. I'll let him burp the grill because I don't want to. Ooh. I'm searing the fillets now. Yeah, see, I don't do the grilling. When we had a regular grill, I would do some of the grilling, but with the green eggs, mm, it's a little above my expertise. He is using the Pampered Chef, oh, there they are, Pampered Chef tongs. So, anyway, so we've got those searing. He'll put them back on. They look really, really good, though. It smells really good. We need smell vision. Hey, there's Buddy. Everybody say hi to Buddy. <laughs> I'm just taking y'all all around. What else do we have to do on this Saturday evening? Right? Hey, Michelle, how are you? All right, let me see what our veggies, what, oh, I'm about to drop my tripod. Oh, our veggies just went off. I really do think they're going to have to go some more, but let's at least look and see. Hold on, I got to wipe off my baby shark. I got, oh, look, Buddy is in the kitchen now, and he did get the Brussels sprout. Score for the dog. Y'all, can you see that? I don't want to drop them. So there's our Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I want our spare, I want the bacon cooked a little more. I'll see it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put our asparagus back on the top rack. Oops. No, I say I'm going to. I'm going to put the Brussels sprouts back down on the lower rack. And I am going to set this to air fry again. And, oh. No, I'm not going to do dehydrate. We're going to do air fry. I'm not air fry. What am I talking about? Y'all, I'm losing my mind. Too much social distancing. Roast. And I'm going to do another four minutes. So, um, four minutes. By then, hopefully our steaks will be done. And we will um, sit down to have dinner. So, I'm... I'm going to hop off of here. I am so glad y'all joined me tonight. I hope you found this helpful. If you have questions, please comment because after I finish dinner, I will go back through and read the comments. Um, if there's anything in particular you would like to see me use, like product-wise, let me know. Maybe I should do a post and have y'all share some of the products you want to know a little more about. I don't know. But let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you want the link to my Feeding America fundraiser. Let me know if you would like to host a virtual party of your own. I will just tell you my hosts are knocking it out of the park and getting tons of free. In April, you can get $100 extra in free on your party. So I have some hosts that are getting mega, mega, mega amounts of free because so many people are needing to cook at home. So we are cooking at home more. I have never cooked this much in my life. Even though I'm the pampered chef, I have never cooked this much. So um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Give me some feedback if you want me to continue doing the Facebook Lives. I hope that you have a very, very blessed Easter. I know it's gonna be different for all of us, but it will still be such a, just, just a wonderful day. We are supposed to be getting some bad weather here in my area, so I pray that everyone will stay safe and that we have a great Easter. Um, I love all of y'all. I really, really enjoy you guys coming into the kitchen with me. I hope that I'm able to give you some useful information, maybe put a smile on your face, maybe interrupt your boredom, just any of that stuff. Everybody, please stay safe. Stay healthy, wash your hands, and have a very blessed Easter tomorrow. Love you guys and see you soon. Bye.